My name is Marie Deschamps, Marie Marcel Deschamps. I'm a medical doctor and I work in Haiti, in Port Prince, Haiti, where I'm the deputy director of the Gescure Center, which is well known for the work we've been doing for the last 40 years in Haiti on HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. Now we are more involved in the global health approach, looking at cardiovascular disease and also primary school education. We do believe in education, vocational school, and job opportunity. Life in Haiti, as we all heard about them on the media, is very difficult. Uh, we, are, we are trapped in a situation uh, where for the last three to four years now, the country has been dealing with civil unrest, political issues, and even the assassination of the president in, since July 2021. And since then, the gangs took over the country, all of the country. So we are trapped in a situation where we cannot find a solution yet. So life is hard. And the, the, the worst part of it is seeing so much, so many of our human resources leaving the country. And people who are well-trained and who are obliged to leave. We work closely with the community itself, focusing on the women, particularly, who are the head of the family, and we express our interest in working with them, for them, with them, based on what they will present. If they have an HIV infection, if they have tuberculosis, if they are pregnant, if the kid is malnourished. So as a medical doctor, I see in each one who comes to me as a patient, a specific case, then you need to consider in the person herself. And then from there, from her needs, from what she expressed, you can assess her needs. Most of the time, they are poor. They don't have access to food. So they have malnourished children as well. And they don't have jobs. My approach is the global health approach, where not only we offer health services, we offer them opportunities to send their kids to school. We have fellowship program. We build a primary school as well on the campus and a vocational schools where they have access to at least being able to produce an activity for them to be independent and not depend on their partner. First of all is security. We need to put in place security. We cannot fail this time. It has to be a successful program and it has to be a holistic approach. That's true, we need peace, we need order. You cannot offer anything, you cannot develop the country, you cannot offer an alternative if there's so much violence. We need to stop that violence, killing, kidnapping, assassination. This is not a proper way of doing anything. So we need to bring peace back. It needs its peace back. So the international is there to collaborate with Haitians the way we see it. But we cannot fail this time. It has to be a very strategic approach where those who have to go to jail go to jail, those who can change their way of living. Because now, actually, living in Haiti is difficult. And that's why so many people are living. Because you can be in a neighborhood, and suddenly a group of gangs arrive, and they ask you to leave. And you have to take your kids, your husband, everything you have, and you run away. So we have so many displaced families now. They estimated that last year we had more than 500,000 families who had to run away. So there is a need, urgent need, to bring peace back in a collaborative way with the community. I think the community is expecting that themselves also. It's not that the whole people are gangs. No, that's not correct. There's a poverty issue that needs to be addressed. We cannot solve one without considering the other one. It's a holistic approach, security, education, bring the kids back to school. Because when you leave the kids outside of the system, the only thing they have, the only alternative, they go back to gangs. They go to gangs. The, the, the adolescents, same thing. So it has to be an holistic approach. Send the kids to school. Send the youth to a technical school for them to learn something. And then become a, 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 a part of the system, part of the nation and also create job. Job opportunity is essential. You cannot think of bringing peace 
if the person doesn't have an opportunity in education or job opportunity. And I would say labor intensive job, you know, activities that not only can help the country, Haiti is deforested. You need to re reforest the country. So there are so much things that you can start to bring peace. And I think there's a way to do it in collaboration with the international. But Haiti will not be able to do it alone. Thank you.